Welcome at the Salmon Lake and Balacrega uh, Centre here in, in Laxey. Uh, Stuart Clegg's with us and, uh, well, let's just, we can run the pictures in a second. Uh, devastation, absolute devastation. Yeah. Yes, the rain started just after lunch and about, about half past four. We thought it's all going okay, we're not getting flooded and then all of a sudden some huge trees came down the river. I don't know, something must have exploded up near the mine. We've got these huge trees come down and they just blocked everything and the river rose to a, to a level where it come over the top and, and smashed in the side of the, the, the tables and chairs and the windows and the, the doors, everything was smashed and we just had to run for it. Luckily, uh, our last, last customers had just gone and uh, our staff were doing a... a an out meeting down south, so uh, luckily we got them all out safely. But it was touch and go. I'd never seen water come in so quick, and so. Oh. And the shots we got here, so it goes over the top of that lake, then drops down about three or yeah. so feet, and then yeah. it, it smashed through the the glass the windows and everything. Did it? Everything smashed, yeah. And then in here today, there's well the the aftermath of of this now, which is thick mud. Yeah. And is everything written off? I mean, all the furniture, all, all, all the fixtures? All just written off. Um, hopefully, I've never claimed on insurance in 45 years. So let's see whether it works. Yeah. What's the future for you now, Ness? Uh, well, I just got everything finished. Uh, we've got a new manager, S in. The bookings were coming in. We were full for Christmas. We, we've got Christmas functions. We've got downstairs. Uh, we got weddings, uh, seven or eight weddings booked for the new year, and I'm afraid it's just all gone by the wind. Mm. But everybody that's booked with us and paid deposits will get all their money back, no problem. I mean, you were here when it happened. If you hadn't seen it with your own eyes, I bet you wouldn't even believe what you saw with it. It's just... I've never seen it. I've never experienced anything like it. But and I wouldn't want to see it again. No. But uh, as I say. And when my new manageress came, she was absolutely devastated in tears because she, you know, building the place up and she's got herself such a good name and the food is so good and everybody was happy, you know. And we've had people ringing us all morning, you know, willing to help. Even the local school teachers wanted to come up and start cleaning this, but anyway, not to be. Is it it's too <coughs> early to talk about the rebuild and, and when you would like to be back on your feet again here with this operation? Don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I really just haven't. Too early. It's too early yet, but even to think, would we do it? <laughs> well, I think we probably will, but just at this stage, um, everybody's on a low, but the, the staff are so good, I wouldn't want to let them down now, but I think there's half to three quarters of a million quid's worth of damage done here. I mean, it's not just the, the mud and thick, but once doors and uh, floors have been, you know, wet and it swells and shrinks and twists. And, and everyone's saying the weather's still, you know, there's more coming in, more rain and things. Uh, what happens now? Do you just let it happen or are you trying to <laughs> defend yourself as much as possible? Well, we're OK. Um, we, we've got a sluice at the bottom. We can, we can uh, command the, the level of the lake, but um, the inlets are so blocked now, so no more work. water will get in that way. But... What will happen, I don't know. I just feel sorry for the staff, really. and They've all been so good, and uh, we had a wonderful team all, all ready to go, and uh, the business was increasing. And put a lot of legwork in. Everything was just completed. It's taken us four years, but <laughs> all back to square one now.